Today I'm here in this marvelous home to give you some hot tips for buying a mid-century modern home in Seattle. Now many of you know this diva loves mid-century modern homes. In fact, I own two, that's how much I love them. One of my biggest passions is helping my clients market their fabulous homes and over my 25 years of working in real estate, I've developed a deep love for mid-century architecture and design. Which is why I wanna share with you my top tips for considering when buying a mid-century modern home in Seattle. This includes the different styles of homes, key design features, the advantages of buying homes from this era, my favorite neighborhoods to look for are mod 60s homes, and what to look for when inspecting a mid-century home in Seattle. Of course, before we get started, please take a moment to give Team Diva some love and give this video a like and make sure to follow us on all the socials. Now, onto my diva tips for buying a mid-century modern home in Seattle. What are the typical styles of mid-century modern homes in Seattle? Often when we think of mid-century modern homes, we conjure up these images of sprawling Palm Springs homes with pools and palm trees. Although you can find a few Palm Spring-esque homes in Seattle, even with a palm tree or two, our mid-century modern homes have details that are more specific to our region and often referred to as Northwest regional style. Here, design elements are more influenced by Japanese architecture, and our homes tend to have deeper eaves and larger windows than in other parts of the country. Here are the four most popular styles of mid-century modern homes you will find in Seattle. The Ranch or California Ranch, the Daylight Rambler or Raised Ranch, the Suburban Ranch, and the Ranch Split or Split Level Home. A California Ranch is those homes that are like, have low slung roof lines, they're often U-shaped or L-shaped, and in our area, you'll mostly find L-shaped homes with deep eaves, tons of windows to bring in light and nature. Rambler or Raised Ranch style homes, or sometimes we call them Daylight Ramblers, often are built into hills and have finished daylight basements. The suburban ranch leads more toward an asymmetrical design than the standard ranch. And last but not least, the ranch split or split level home, which in Seattle is most commonly built as a split entry home with a finished basement. What are the key design elements of mid-century modern homes in Seattle? The home I'm in today in Laurelhurst is an excellent example of a mid-century modern rambler. This marvelous home was built in 1955 and has some wonderful details that are quintessentially mid-century modern. This home features an open floor plan with all the main living spaces and most of the bedrooms all on one floor. There's also these stunning floor to ceiling windows which show off the great covered patio and ensure that the outdoors are the focal point of this living room. Now, I have to comment on these wonderful skylights, which although are not per se mid-century, are an upgrade element that integrates exceptionally well with this style of home. And finally, what I love most about this home is the exterior curb appeal. It's so very Northwest mid-century modern with its low slung profile, deep eaves, wood elements, and built-in gutters. So here is a broader list of some design features of note that you can find in most mid-century modern homes. Organic elements that are inspired by nature, heavy use of wood elements, usually unpainted, large floor to ceiling windows that help bring the outside inside, and often walls of windows, especially in Seattle. Clean lines, minimal ornate elements, low slung roof lines with deep eaves, also very Northwest, cathedral ceilings, sometimes with exposed beams, and a high focus on functionality, specifically because the bedrooms and the bathrooms are clearly separated from the main living area. And of course, last but not least, open floor plans. What are the advantages of buying a mid-century modern home in Seattle? Well, there are a multitude of advantages to living and owning a mid-century modern home. The functionality, the open floor plan, the use of large windows to capture the outside landscape. I mean, let's dive into some key features that make owning a mid-century modern home in Seattle such a good buy. The functionality. These homes are extremely easy to live in and offer flexibility and use of space. They have larger rooms and more closet space, especially compared to older Craftsman and Victorian homes, and often have finished daylight basements. These homes are designed to be lived in through all various stages of life, since usually the main living areas and bedrooms are all on one floor. The open floor plan. The open floor plan originated with mid-century modern homes. These homes were designed for a more modern lifestyle, and at the time it was a shift away from formal living and entertaining in the style of the early 1900s. The open design makes entertaining so much easier and so much more enjoyable, 
Plus, integrating the outdoor and indoor spaces means these homes have great decks, lanais, patios, and yards. If you notice, most mid-century homes offer incredibly easy access to the outdoor areas. The modern conveniences. We all love storage, and the joy of buying a mid-century modern home is that you get it, lots of it. Unlike homes built before the 1950s, these homes have larger bedrooms, larger closets, and larger bathrooms. Speaking of bathrooms, did you know that the idea of an ensuite bath started in the 1960s? This is also why you are likely to find an owner suite in homes from the 60s and 70s. No massive plumbing additions necessary. The classic mid-century windows. Bringing the outside inside is a main element of mid-century modern design, and this works incredibly well in the Northwest. Owning a home designed with floor-to-ceiling windows is what you want when you're living in the Seattle area and you're surrounded by lush greenery, stunning water views, and mountains. Not to mention, everyone seems to crave natural light in Seattle. Buying a mid-century home in Seattle is a major plus if you want to capture those beautiful water views and have a home full of natural light. Which neighborhoods in Seattle have the most unique mid-century modern homes? Some of the most well-known modern architects like Roland Terry and Paul Kirk were designing and building homes in our region during the 40s, 50s, and 60s, which is why you can find amazing mid-century architecture everywhere in Seattle. That said, here's my list of Seattle neighborhoods where mid-century style reigns. First up, my favorite neighborhood to find mid-century modern homes, mostly because it's my neighborhood, is Seward Park. This neighborhood's famous home, the Dow Residence, was designed by Paul Kirk in 1953 and is an iconic example of Northwest Asian-inspired mid-century modern architecture and design. Here are the other great neighborhoods on my mid-century modern house hunting list. In South Seattle, we have Lake Ridge and Seward Park, both with lovely Lake Washington views. In West Seattle, there's Fauntleroy and Genesee, also having great views of the Sound and the mountains. Northwest Seattle, you have Magnolia, Olympic Manor, and Blue Ridge. Located along the northwestern edge of Seattle, also known for having expansive Sound and Olympic Mountain views. In Northeast Seattle, you have Matthews Beach, View Ridge, and Cedar Park. And these homes also you can find great Lake Washington and Cascade views. And last but not least, you can find marvelous mid-century homes like this one, centrally located right here in Laurelhurst. It's not surprising that most of these neighborhoods also have stunning views. It's one of the advantages of buying a mid-century modern home in the Northwest. They were designed to maximize nature as the focal point of the home. What to look for when inspecting a mid-century home in Seattle? Okay, mid-century homes are some of the best built homes that there are in this city. I mean, I've been in business for many, many years and I've been to hundreds of inspections. In my experience, most mid-century homes tend to have the least amount of scary issues like foundation settling, water intrusion, or other structural problems. They are mostly extremely well built with solid poured concrete foundations and strong supports. I mean, the guy who built our home even used steel beams for structural supports. That's how well built these homes are. That said, there are a few key things you want to look for when inspecting a mid-century modern home. First, plumbing. Most homes of this era were built with galvanized plumbing. This plumbing does have a tendency to fail after 50 to 60 years, which means now. Number two, electrical. Modern as these homes can be, they were built before the era of computing. The electrical in these homes can be tricky, and many non-updated homes are lacking in three-pronged grounded outlets around the home. So it's pretty common to have to make upgrades to get connected to the World Wide Web and all of our technology. Number three, sewer issues. Now, interestingly, I've seen more sewers fail on these homes than older homes. Why? Many mid-century homes in Seattle have concrete sewer lines instead of clay, which you find in more craftsman-style homes. Concrete lines tend to fail faster and have more issues than older clay pipes. Be sure when you're buying a home of the mid-century era to do a sewer scope and know if you find concrete or clay sewer lines, they may need to be replaced sooner rather than later. Number four, gutters. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Gutters? Why gutters? Well, one of the interesting features of mid-century modern homes is what we call built-in gutters. These are gutters that are built into and behind the fascia boards so they're invisible from the outside. Great as they make the home look, they do start to fail after 60 years. So make sure to check those built-in gutters for holes and rot when you inspect your home. Well, there you have it. My top diva tips for buying a mid-century modern home right here in Seattle. 
Thanks for watching today. And for more information about this beautiful Laurelhurst mid-century modern home featured in this video, just go to our show notes. This is Kim with Team Diva at Coal Banker Bain saying ciao for now. Mm -hmm.